Hey everybody, it's Andrew here with Blue Ridge Farm. I'm gonna do a quick tour of my garden with you today. It's June 14th, so first bed here. And I have the same, pretty much the same layout as last year. I never, I just don't have the beans. I didn't get that bed built this year. But I have my strawberries here and those are pretty much done, but I got a really great haul for it this year. I am having mice that keep tunneling in through the bottom, which is why I have these rocks here. Um, Hopefully I can figure something out. This is, in previous years, in the big bed, I've had watermelons. But this year, I tried pumpkins. Uh, I planted a bunch of pumpkins in here, and the mice kept digging them up. This is a volunteer. I'm hoping that it's actually a carving pumpkin. Uh, I can't quite tell, but as you can see, it is very big. And... It had, before I went on vacation, it had a pumpkin in here that like, I guess it didn't have enough water and it kind of died, that little starter pumpkin died. But back here, I've trimmed them a little bit. Where is it? There's, oh, like for example, there's, uh, right there you can kind of see one starting. Um, I think there were a couple more back here as well you can kind of see one there uh, they're all pretty small though so we'll see have my basil so I cut this before I went on vacation and made a big thing of pesto for my kids and then we have our lavender and as you can see we're getting some uh, getting some bees on here I got my honey bee here I'm starting to really enjoy that. I had cucumbers here, but the mice have dug all of them up. So I'm going to try again, but not hopeful. have my mint here in the bed that's falling apart and I have to fix. This is kind of a catch-all. I tried to put some more basil in here. It didn't really take. And then I transplanted some of my carrots in here. Uh, they're not looking that great either, but you know, I didn't really expect the transplant to work. I have some tomato. I have three different varieties of tomatoes here. Um, I bought these from the store. So I have Better Boys and Beef Master and then Celebrity. So we'll see. I have some tomatoes on there. I haven't done any trimming. I got a nice one look coming in here. And then the one that I'm really excited about because... The mice usually demolish these when I'm on vacation, but they actually left them alone this year, so far. And I'm getting, I'm getting some uh, ears of corn. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Hopefully, I'm actually going to get some. Nothing on here yet, and I think these are two different types of corn, or at least there's a few different types. I, th I mean, there's two different types total. I don't remember exactly where I planted them. And then I have my peas here. I think they're reaching the end of their life, but I picked a few more, and I got a bunch of them last week. These are my carrots here, and I just found a uh, black swallowtail um, caterpillar. Oh, here's another one. I'm gonna go put this back in the wildflower bed. And then I have a bunch of radishes from my mother-in-law over here. And then I only have, looks like four, I don't know, I guess I have a few more lettuce plants that are coming in, but it's probably too late. I don't know if they're going to do anything. But that's, uh, that's what I have so far. Uh, I think I'm going to try to plant some more. I'm going to try to plant those cucumbers over here again, and then maybe try some beans when these peas die off, or maybe plant more peas for the, uh, for the fall. All right, well, that's the garden update for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye.